so what we have here today is the orange by zero port with the add-on board uh, which adds the extra two usb ports and a microphone and an audio video composite output so today in this video we'll be taking a look as to what you need to do in order to get the board up and running so let us get started so in order to get started with the orange by zero you need to get hold of the operating system so there are a couple of versions of the operating system in uh, orange by's official website but uh, they they are very difficult to work with uh, and uh, difficult to set up and get the board running so i suggest you to grab the operating system from the ambient website so go into the ambient and uh, then into the download section and then choose orange by zero you can uh, either uh, download and uh, run the ubuntu or the debian i would suggest you to use the debian jc which is much easier to work with so click on this and download the operating system so download will start automatically i already have a copy of the operating system so i'll just keep that and then you need to format your uh, sd card i would suggest you to use a sd formatter you can find the download links for all the software such as the sd formatter and the win32 disk imager in the video description so start the v sd formatter choose your uh, sd card and then choose format choose ok ok and ok after that exit and run the win32 disk imager and then uh, click on the file icon over here or the folder icon move into the folder where you have the operating system choose the operating system and then open and then press right choose yes So once you get the right successful message, click OK, close the Win32 Disk Imager and eject your uh, micro SD card. So first up, connect the Ethernet cable to your uh, Orange Pi Zero, as well as the uh, power supply cable, and then insert your uh, SD card and turn on the power supply. first boot uh, will take a couple of minutes so during the first boot you can see the uh, power LED and the status LED turn on the power LED is the solid green LED and the status LED is the blinking uh, red LED so even after uh, inserting the SD card and powering on the system if your system doesn't work I would suggest you to change the power supply many users have uh, found some issues um, in regards to the powering of uh, Orange Pi Zero So once the Orange Pi Zero is up and running, log into your router and get the local IP address. Copy this address and then open a uh, putty, paste the IP and choose open. Choose yes and uh, your first login uh, should be as root. Type root press enter and the password is 1234 
and then uh, you will be prompted for a change of password so type in the password again it's 1234 enter a new password say whatever you wish for just make sure that your new password has a small case one uppercase and a number else you will be prompted saying that your password was not secure and you will be asked to type a pa new password again and uh, now you will be prompted for a username or a forename uh, this is what your uh, device will be called as so I would like to call it as pi and then you will be prompted for the password again and uh, rest all is pretty much uh, straightforward you will be asked for your uh, name choose yes you can check your working directory by typing pwd so now uh, after the first boot make sure to update and upgrade your system type sudo app get update so once the updating is done you need to upgrade sudo app get upgrade choose yes After the upgrading process is done, uh, we need to add uh, the Wi-Fi configurations uh, to the Orange Pi Zero, so that uh, next time when it boots, uh, it will directly connect uh, to your Wi-Fi network. So to do that, I have given a list of codes here, or a kind of a guide, or kind of a guide file. The links for which uh, is again there in the description of this video. Just follow it step by step so first uh, you need to open a uh, network interfaces under here uh, copy and paste the code which is given below control x choose yes and then enter after that we need to enter the Wi-Fi credentials in a configuration file in order to do that, run the wpa.supplicant configuration file and then copy and paste the network details. say suppose if you are uh, adding multiple networks you can just uh, copy and paste uh, multiple networks like this so again press control X choose yes and then enter so after updating the your uh, Wi-Fi configuration file uh, you need to turn on your uh, Wi-Fi so uh, use sudo IEF up WLAN 0 it will say that it is already configured then run and lastly you need to update your time zone So once you restart, you should have your uh, 
orange 50 connected to your Wi-Fi network we have done the uh, updation and the upgradation process and as well as added the uh, Wi-Fi credentials so it is advisable to reboot your uh, Pi now so once your Pi reboots you can uh, start using it and uh, that is pretty much it in regards to getting started with your Orange Pi Zero after rebooting your uh, new IP address will appear up in the router configurations and then you can uh, SSH uh, using your Wi-Fi uh, IP address so and then you can also monitor your uh, orange by using this command sudo ambient monitor space hyphen m this will uh, continuously uh, show the list of uh, the CPU speed uh, your uh, CPU temperature and all those stuff so as I said earlier uh, the CPU easily touches uh, 60 60 just about 60 degrees and gets throttled uh, I'm right now running it without a heatsink so I would suggest you to get some kind of a heatsink so now let me just show you as to what you need to do to, to control the GPIO pins using Python so as a first step uh, you need to install uh, Python's uh, development version so sudo apt-get install python hyphen dev choose yes so after installing python we need to install git so sudo app get install git so git has been uh, updated or installed so a quick uh, shout out to Lin uh, he has created this uh, github page over here so we'll be using this to control uh, the GPIO pins uh, using Python so this is the basis of, for our work here so word of uh, thank you to him copy the uh, github page link now and then choose git clone dot git so cloning is done so your folder name will be something uh, after the cloning into so copy the folder name over here and type cd change directory so after moving into the uh, gpu directory copy the script or the installation code and type sudo and paste that python uh, setup.py install so once that is done you can uh, check the list of the folders in that type ls and you should have the examples so move into the examples and now type sudo python and copy the name of this and now the uh, status LED will be blinking alternately I mean blinking is alternately so it will be turning on and turning off alternately or uh, blinking so let me just show you that
so as you can see uh, the red is the status LED and as I said uh, green is the power LED the red LED is now blinking or uh, turning on and turning off alternately so that is pretty much it guys uh, in regards to setting up of uh, orange pi zero so now you can control your uh, GPIO pins uh, using python and then uh, you have your system up and running uh, Wi-Fi is also working and connected so I hope you find this useful and informative and if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos